Hey, welcome everyone. This is the February 2021 newsletter for the United States Naval Academy Alumni Association, Greater Washington, D.C. chapter. I'm your chapter president, Luis Martinez, USNA 2001. I hope this newsletter finds you all in uh, good health and in great spirits, both you and your family. Um, it's been a start to a phenomenal year. Um, everything's been going great with the chapter. Catch you up with everything. We had an anti-racist uh, resiliency circle last month that went exceptionally well. A lot of participation across many classes. We had people in there from uh, classes of the 70s all the way till 2018. A lot of different varying viewpoints. We'd like to thank our uh, sister organization, NAMA, and uh, supporting us with that. And we look forward to doing some more events with them in the future. Um, we had another event uh, here in February for the policy series. Um, our first, if you recall, was back in November. That's all being led by our very own Dr. Jill Ruff. Um, this time we explored uh, the ramifications of the civil military divide. Great attendance to that, a lot of great participation. You'll find that video up on the members only, as well as uh, possibly post published to YouTube here within the next couple of weeks. Also of great note was we had our first uh, chapter meeting of the new year. A lot of uh, participation there from you all. Thank you all to uh, all who attended. We're taking a lot of that feedback and uh, creating new pro projects and uh, events for this new year. So keep uh, posted on this newsletter, everything that's going on. Our podcast, after me mentioning uh, for all this time, is finally going live or is live. You can find a link at our newsletter. If you're Depending on where you're watching this video, you should be able to find a post either um, uh, the link on the post or in the comments will place that but you can uh, subscribe over at iTunes right now it's only hosted, hosted at Apple the way podcasts work for those that are not familiar is uh, they're available in several different uh, distribution uh, networks right now it's only on Apple but you'll see that become available um, be that on Pandora Spotify and a whole bunch of other uh, distributors here uh, within the next several weeks so Keep, uh, keep posted here. You'll see, see that pop up on your favorite uh, uh, podcast platform. Um, we are looking to start a, a pool league. So back when I first uh, got commissioned and went to flight school, got introduced to uh, pool playing, uh, at least in a league down in Pensacola, Florida. That league is a franchise uh, that operates throughout the nation, and there is a local franchisee here in the greater D.C. area. Um, we're going to Query y'all, see how many of you want to participate in that league. And uh, finally started getting out. It's easy to do some social distancing and uh, playing pool. Now this pool at billards is not, not <laughs> swimming in a pool, but pool as a, uh, you know, billards. But we'll uh, see how many of you are interested um, in participating in a pool league. Um, more information uh, to that is forthcoming. We'll share some videos as to what that pool league looks like, but it'll be a great time to get us at least out and about socializing with one another and, and doing something fun. We uh, were able to secure a partnership or a discount for our members with Freedom Boat Club. I'll share some videos and links to who they are, but in essence, they are a membership club. Um, the, it's also a franchise, uh, just like that pool league I mentioned. And the franchisee that we're in partnership with is the uh, gentleman that, or the, the group that are, owns the uh, boat club in Virginia. So you'll be able to become a member of that club and uh, you'll eventually pay a monthly fee, but be able to rent out boats um, either down in Woodbridge or in Lake Anna. So more more information to come on that. We'll be creating some web pages for you all to participate in that. Career transition, that's the big thing that we've been working on here. Um, we'll have a new career transition event coming up next month in March of 2021 that's going to be transitioning or gaining employment in higher education. So we'll have uh, some panelists, an opportunity for all of y'all to engage. Again, this is addressing uh, the uh, concerns you've all expressed to us that the biggest challenge you've had in your transition is trying to identify which industries to transition to. So this is part of our transition series so that y'all can uh, get, get accustomed to different industries that are out there, see what our grads are doing out there or our fellow alumni and uh, see where you can kind of transition to and make a new home for yourself. Um, what's also in the works for the future, um, we've got a picnic that we're coordinating right now. Hopefully COVID 
regulations will allow us to uh, host that here before the end of the spring. Um, from the chapter meeting, we learned that some of you all uh, have had some great uh, experiences uh, hosting events at Vineyards or attending events at Vineyards. So we're exploring that opportunity right now. Our annual chapter meeting is coming up uh, before the end of the spring. That's where we'll all uh, brief to you the status of the chapter, uh, finan where we are financially, where we are membership wise, where the chapter is going for the next year and five years and 10 years, and also to answer your questions as to what the state of the chapter is. We'll be hosting another candidate event. Um, so this candidate event will be uh, one for the, uh, a follow on to what we did last fall. Um, it's anyone that's, any of these uh, candidates that have been accepted to the academy, um, pretty much a, an attaboy for them and welcome them into the fold. But also we're, we're looking at exploring uh, hosting candidate events for those that are looking to apply to the academy and learn more about the application process. So keep an eye out for those. And we're exploring the possibility of uh, hosting an event at a firing range. So that should be real exciting. So keep posted on that. Additionally to all that, you know, back to the uh, career transition, we've see, you know we're starting to work, <coughs> excuse me, start work closer with the uh, Society of West Point here in D.C. as well as with Corporate Gray, who does uh, career transition events and career fairs in the area. Look on the newsletter; you'll see uh, the next several career fairs that are being hosted with that. But that is all going to really expand our transition program and the services that we're able to provide to you as members. So really looking forward to seeing how that uh, uh, partnership blo blossoms and uh, you know gain value for all of you as, as members. Bike rides are still going, so uh, keep a post out. Kate Murray will be uh, publishing uh, that to the events page. Keep an eye out for that. Be sure to sign up for our mentorship program uh, on our webpage. And lastly, um, Great, uh, Great Washington, D.C. is now has a hashtag USNAGWC for all you Peloton riders out there. So if you're working out on your Peloton and you want to see who's uh, riding with you, just uh, tag it as hashtag USNAGWC, all one word. And that's all I have for you. Um, thank you for uh, tuning in and thank you for uh, participating. If you're not yet a member, please go ahead and uh, sign up our website, usnagwc.org. Um, if you can, you know, our, mem our chapter exists because of your memberships, but uh, we are able to put on all these functions by way of your donations. So if, uh, if you can, uh, please consider doing a one-time or recurring donation. Also by going to our website, usnagwc.org, um, click on donate and you'll find several options there as to how you can make your contributions. Thanks so much, and I look forward to seeing you at our one of our next events.